everybody, this is Jace with Marshall Made Collectibles, and today we are doing a quick unboxing and review. Uh, going on along with our Fallout stuff that we've been doing here in 1-6 scale, uh, just uh, dropped a video yesterday of the Nuka Cola armor for the 3-0. This is an unlicensed item, and this is coming to us from China. But I'm kind of excited about it because everything that I've heard about it has really been decent. And I haven't seen any reviews on it on YouTube, so I thought I would do one. And this is a Survivor outfit, or like the Vault outfit. Now you can see from the picture on the front of this box, this is just an outfit. But on the front they have, let's see if we can focus, there we go. They have Robert Downey Jr., uh, or Tony Stark, in a Vault outfit. And it is by U Toys, and this is where you gotta love um, uh, Lost in Translation because this is the one six scale Doomsday Waste Soil, not not Soul Soil Survivor. So this is the guy after the Doomsday that lives in the waste dirt, but he survived. Um, actually, we all know this is a Vault jumpsuit. And it has the 111 on the back. So what I'm going to do is I would like to go ahead and, and open this up. Let me go ahead and, and pan the camera back a little bit. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. We're going to go through all the gear. And then I'm going to show you a uh, setup on a body. And the body we're going to use is a Ku Models standard uh, narrow shoulder body. Say hi. He says hi. And uh, these are my go-to bodies. I love these. You can get them for like about 18, 19, 20 bucks. Uh, really well made, very sturdy, uh, decent made bodies. I use them for all my custom figures that I do. But anyway, let's go ahead and crack this sucker open. Now it's in just a plain black box, nothing special. And then when you open it up, all the gear, if we can focus, all the gear is just laying inside. And let's see. First thing we're coming to is he comes with a set of boots. Go ahead and open up the bag. And they appear to be just like some black combat boots. There is some slight weathering detail. There's some dirt on them, some brown strokes kind of like uh, dry brushing looks good we have the belt and harness actually that looks really nice it's got individual stitching on it that is surprising i was not expecting the quality to be that decent Oh, we have a scope for a rifle. Oh, and they have little flip-ups. Oh, oh, that's cool. I was expecting just black plastic. They actually have lenses put in there. Uh, we have his shoulder piece. Again, really nice stitching. Leather kind of details, like with the faux leather. Ah, uh, we'll save that for last. That's the pit boy. And we have his rifle. If we can focus. There we go. And the bolt action does move up and down. Very nice, and that's where the sight will go. We have the vault suit. That is really some heavy material. I was not expecting that. Some nice material, leather on there. You got the 111 in the back. Um, it's got the little things for like to run the wire on it too, which is nice. Now this is missing some of the highlights, like you may have noticed. Um, now, some people want it, but uh, people that play the game will notice it's missing like the little metal pieces. I'm actually uh, in the process of molding some of those and uh, going to pour some in resin and then paint them. And I think I'm going to offer them through my company, Marshall Made, for people that want to do like uh, 
game accurate. Super amount of detail though. This suit is, it's heavy. It's not like some thin, crappy jumpsuit. And best of all, you do come, it does come with a pip boy. Oh, wow. This has got to focus on this. That is just a crazy amount of detail. And I'll do some 1-6 scale. Uh, like HD pictures. That's gorgeous. Just stunning. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and put this on our body that I said. So give me just a second and we'll take a look at our soil survivor in just a moment. Okay, we're back and we have him put together and I honestly can say this outfit is gorgeous. Now there's some things that need to be done. Like right now, I haven't done which, what they call in the 1-6 scale community, futzing with him, which means fidgeting and getting everything to look just right. I just wanted to put it together to show you what it comes, has it comes. Uh, there are a few things I'm going to do, like I'll probably end up fixing the belt, shorten it. Um, these little pieces of the belt are actually magnetized, which is really nice, but they're a very light magnet. They're kind of loose. So I'll either, uh, replace those with some stronger magnets, or I might just, uh, actually secure those areas. And I also will probably thread this part, which is the shoulder part, which I feel like should go through that strap, but it doesn't. It just kind of lays there. So I might either put some double-sided tape to hold that in place, or I might use something like fabric lock or even a small bit of super glue to attach it so that it does not come apart. Other than that, the only other thing I think I might do is put some extended ankle pegs on him to make him a little bit taller. But other than that, the outfit is gorgeous. It is really well made. Uh, it, the material is thick. It's not thin. You don't feel like you're going to snag it. Even the little leather parts on the end of the arms, even though they're thinner than uh, like what some people might like, they are really well made and they don't hamper any kind of like articulation. They're like a pleatherish vinyl or whatever. But this belt is like insane. The amount of detail that went into it is just, just gorgeous. Now you might notice like, well, where'd you get that head? That is the 3-0 head that came with like my T-51 uh, power armor. Uh, the gun, the rifle is really, really nice. Uh, just amazing amount of work. Even like if you look close in the belt, there's like little grommet work there. Like if you even wanted to get some 1-6 scale stuff like uh, military grade, you could have the stuff hanging off the bag and do him up any way you wanted. Of course, you do have the 111 on the back. Uh, which is really nice. Hopefully they'll release another one that uh, has the 76 or maybe even we can get uh, different vault numbers, which would be cool. Um, zipper is nice and, and in scale. You do have the little leads if you want to run the wire. Like I, uh, I'll probably do a follow-up video later of the little uh, uh, extras that I will add to the, the costume to make it more uh, game uh, accurate. And I'll show how that looks, and if anybody wants to order a set of those, they can. The Pip-Boy is just outstanding. It's nuts, the amount of detail and everything like that. But um, you can still find these outfits, and again, they're by U-Toys. Oh, he's getting ready to fall. Uh, they're by a company called U-Toys. I've never heard of them before. Uh, again, it's I know it's not a licensed set, but you can find them over on eBay. And they sell for uh, anywhere from like $70 to $80. I wouldn't pay more than that. Um, again, I don't know if they're going to be making more. So whatever allotment that's out there might be it. And after they're gone, I see this being uh, something that people that collect Fallout collectibles will definitely want to have. Uh, hang back. I'm going to do some HD photos here at the end so you can see some close-ups of stuff. Even the Pip-Boy, you can get a close-up of the screen that way. Uh, and uh, the detail work and uh, the, the belt, the leather, and the outfit itself and all the extra whoop, all the extra stitching and everything else he came with. So uh, thank you for watching. Definitely a must-get if you're a Fallout fan. 
And uh, this is Jace for Marshall Made Collectibles. Take care.